Good morning. Good morning. Good Hi, morning. everybody. Welcome to Sunday School Sunday. Happy so, Sunday. Yeah, I'm so happy everybody's here. Yeah, good to see everybody. Um, this week, we're going to be talking about the Ascension. Do you yes. know what Ascension is? The Ascension? The, the what? Ascension. Ascension means to go up. So we're going to talk about Jesus going up to heaven. Oh. He's going to ascend to heaven. Oh, that's where he is now. He's up in heaven. Yeah, and that's how he got there. He ascended to heaven. And we're going to learn about that today. If you remember last time, last week, uh, we talked about uh, Jesus came and restored Peter. And they had the barbecue of fish and all that on the beach. And he restored Peter. So Jesus is alive and he's here. And he's actually going to want to be here for about 40 days. He's going to wander around before his ascension. And that's kind of what we're going to cover today. So let's start with a word of prayer. Let's pray before we start getting into God's word and God's Bible. So let's pray. Father, thank you for this morning. We thank you for this beautiful day you've given us today. And we just pray that your Holy Spirit teach us through your Bible. We thank you for your Bible. And we want to learn more about you and who you are. And we pray that you teach us this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes. So our memory verse is right over there on the board. Yeah. Tracy, you want to read that? Now it came to pass while he blessed them that he was parted from them and carried up to heaven. That's right. Ascended. As Ascended. Good. Yeah, he ascended to heaven. So Jesus appeared to his disciples on lots of occasions, already to Peter on the beach, and he's going to show up. Um, remember the road to Emmaus lesson we did? He showed up to those two guys in Emmaus. Then he showed up in the upper room where Thomas put his hand in the, the side in the holes. Thomas didn't. Thomas doubts. That was a lesson we covered. Right. So already Jesus has shown himself to a bunch of people. And besides Peter's restoration... He's going to go around and let a lot of more, lot more people see him. Like I said, over 40 days. And in 1 Corinthians, it mentions, Paul mentions that over 500 people saw Jesus alive. So it's not like it's something that could have just been made up. It, it really happened. It's real and it's true. Yeah. And we're going to get to a lesson where God's going to give us his Holy Spirit. He's going to tell them what they need to do, what the disciples need to do, and what we need to do before he comes back again. And he's going to tell them to go wait in Jerusalem to get the Holy Spirit. So he's, he's going to prepare them just like, you know, their parent, your parents are training you for what you need to do when you grow up. Mm -hmm. Well, he's preparing the disciples, right? Right. And our saying today is, God promises his Holy Spirit to help his children. That's right. So... Our first scripture. So another promise. We're going to be in Luke chapter 24, verses 44 to 45. Then he said to them, There are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. Jesus was explaining to the disciples and and to us, that there was a whole bunch of things in the, in the book of Moses. It says the law of Moses, but that's the first five books of the Bible. In the, the Old Testament, in all the prophets in the Old Testament, and the Psalms, there was over 300 different prophecies that told about the Messiah that was coming, and Jesus fulfilled every single one of them. All of them? All 300? Yep, all 300, and that's a lot. Yep. I mean, just for to... Do a couple would be almost impossible, but Jesus fulfilled all 300. So how do we know today that the Bible was true and that Jesus is who he says he is? Well, you just have to look at all the prophecies that Jesus fulfilled. You know, he if he, if he wasn't the Messiah, then he couldn't have fulfilled them, right? Right. It wouldn't have happened. He wouldn't and have been Jesus. He, the bottom line is, he proved it. Yep. Um we can't we can't argue with that okay he re, he fulfilled god's word perfectly and we can be very confident to say that uh be, be, because of him because jesus did what when he was here tracy he always 
He always kept his word. That's he, right. And he told us he, he was going to do these things, and he did them. He made promises and never broke them. That's right. Yeah, the Bible, all those prophecies and documents that told about the coming Savior, the promised one, the Messiah, we can see that Jesus fulfilled every single one of them. Mm -hmm. And no, nobody else could possibly have done that. So that's what makes it all true and all real, that Jesus actually did do it. So, boys and girls, one of the things that we have to do, well, it's pretty simple. It's not complicated. He told the disciples what they needed to do, what they, you know, he gave them, he taught them, he gave them directions, he even walked with them again for the 40 days. But for us, we have to read our Bible. We need to be mm -hmm. attending church in Sunday school. And that's are what we, we doing today. Are we, it's what we're doing today. And then, you know, how do we apply these things to our life? Because it's just, can't be just a bunch of words saying, well, uh, be nice to your neighbor. You have to actually do it. And the, so it's not complicated to follow God's word and to obey him. Yeah, and Jesus explained to his disciples that he had to suffer, he had to die, and he had to rise again. And we saw all that. And that's what the scripture, all the scripture prophesied. Prophecy is telling what's going to happen. Yeah. And the Bible told us that the Messiah coming would have to suffer, he would have to die, and he would rise again. And Jesus did all of those things. Good. So Jesus had to die and rise again to be a sacrifice for our sins. He was actually paying for our sins when he died on the cross. And he was the only one worthy enough and able to do it. Right. And he did it. So, you know, along with the teaching in those 40 days, what Jesus was really doing was he was encouraging the disciples, you know, to, uh, to tell what they had witnessed, share this gospel, share the word, okay? So each disciple had a story to tell. You know, Jesus told them that he had kind of, they had credibility because they witnessed all of this. You know, they witnessed the healings. They had witnessed the um, retributions. They had witnessed um, his great suffering. So they could speak with great, great confidence. And all the miracles. Right. All the miracles, all the miracles. Was, Can yeah. you imagine that? I mean, I would just, that would, wow. I think I, right. can't, I can't do any miracles. Can you do any miracles? Tracy, can you do any miracles? Um, my mom said it was a miracle I cleaned my room, so maybe. <laughs> no, not that kind of miracle. <laughs> you know, only God could do miracles, and Jesus did miracles. So Jesus was proving he was God. Yeah. In Luke 24, 49, it says, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. The promise of the Father that he's talking about is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And he's telling the disciples, go wait in Jerusalem until the power of the Holy Spirit comes on you. The gift that the Father is going to give us. And he gave it to us. Jesus gave him, the disciples, a promise that a helper would come. The Holy Spirit would come. And it would give them, empower them to be able to witness for him and do the things that Jesus wants us to do. We're going to learn more about that later. Yeah, and we get that same promise yes. applies to us. When we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. It's called baptized with the Holy Spirit. And that's what our lesson is about today. That God promises his Holy Spirit to help his children. And we're his children. So he sends it to help us. Well, you mentioned something that, that this Holy Spirit would come upon them to give them power. Um, right, Brian? Right. So, you know, it, it's real important to um, it's important to know that that's really what he's talking about. And we're, we, you know, this Holy Spirit comes upon us when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, which you're going to hear more about. So all throughout we the have scripture. the power of the Spirit? That's, that's right. right. You yep. do. We okay. do. Okay. You know, the Holy Spirit helps us to live our lives for Jesus. It helps us to witness for Jesus. And it helps us to understand the Bible. Very important. The Holy Spirit, you know, by accepting Jesus as our as our Savior, we are accepting that gift of the Holy Spirit along with that. Yep. And makes us witnesses. Right. Gives us the power to be the witnesses right. for Christ. It says here in Luke 24, verses 50 and 51, And he led them out as far as Bethany and he lifted up his hands and he blessed them there's another blessing we've heard about God's blessings there's another blessing now it came to pass while he blessed them that he was parted from them and he was carried up to heaven yeah I want to add another part 
I want, besides Luke, I want to go into Acts chapter 10, or Acts chapter 1, verses 10 and 11. And it says, And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, and as he went up, behold, two men stood before them in white and appeared, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into the heavens? That same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in a like manner as you saw him going into heaven. So we have that to look forward to, that Better promise that as they saw Jesus going up to heaven and they're sitting there just what? Trying to follow him, you know, like you ever let go of a balloon? Yeah. A balloon and it goes up and you just want to follow it as far as you can and see. And they were watching Jesus and all of a sudden these two angels come up and they go, what are you guys looking at? You know, don't worry about it. As, G as you saw Jesus come up, go up, we're going to see him come back down. So Jesus is coming back. Well, and, and we have that to look forward to. Oh, I can't wait to see Jesus. Me too. And we yeah. know that Jesus is always with us. He's always with us, boys and girls. We never, he never leaves us, never fails us. Um, always with us. And they were told that too, but you know, it was just kind of a, an event. And God promises his Holy Spirit to help his children, to help us. That's right. So did we have a craft for this We do. We oh. do. Here we go. Did you look at the craft, Tracy? Yes, I did. Yeah, you think this is a fun thing to do? Yes, I, I wonder if I got them right. Well, I'm sure you did because you, you can always look up in your Bible to get the right answers. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is called red light, green light. And we'll, there's some questions here on the side that you can answer, and you have to put circle the uh, color of the circle either red or green. Red means false. That means it's yeah, it's not right. That didn't happen. Green light means to go go forward. So green means good. Yeah. Red so this, means wrong. These are R and R is wrong. <laughs> That's right. These are these are with all with all your class handouts. The craft is on there. This is kind of an activity craft, I call it. But there's got these questions like, you know the answer to well, this What's one. the first what's question there? Okay. After okay. Jesus' resurrection, the disciples never saw him again. Is what? that true or is that false? Would think? that be? Oh, we're not gonna give away the answer. You're not. Don't. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. No. We want. We don't want to give away the answer. You guys but go ahead and fill it you out. You know what the answer is, but this is a good way to read. If you don't know the answers, go to your Bible, because it's in there. Everything yep. we've covered. So, so next week, we, we covered that Jesus told them to go to Jerusalem and tarry, to wait for the power of the Holy Spirit. So next week, we're going to cover the Holy Spirit coming, the day of Pentecost. Yes. So until next week, everybody have a good week. God bless. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. See you next week. Yes, good Lord willing.